Hey guys, so uh, I'm real excited today because I get to show you a cool way to deliver a letter to somebody. Uh, so if you want to write a letter or a message, send a message to somebody that you care about or love, uh, this is a kind of cool way to fold it up and, and give it to them. So what they do is when they receive it, they'll open up like that and they'll have instructions to pull this little tab right here. And when they do, it's kind of it's kind of cool because it pops open like that and they get to read whatever it is that you wanted to tell them. Um, and it's all, you know, just one sheet of paper. It's just the way that you fold it and it's really easy how you fold it. Um, you can get fancy with it. Um, I experimented to see which one pulls the best. Some of them kind of ripped when I pulled it so maybe you don't pull it so hard. Um, maybe you have a bigger pull tab than, than this one. Uh, maybe you overlap it more so there's different different things that you can try to make it better that's what engineers do once we get a good idea um, we see if we can improve on it okay um, so this one works pretty good I just gotta be careful not to pull it too hard because then you rip it um, but the idea is good oh you know what's so cool too something that we figured out we could do too if it's a special envelope um, or message you can actually put some confetti uh, in it. This is this box we made in my other class. So you could dump some uh, confetti in there and so when it opens up, um, you'll get uh, a confetti bomb. You put the confetti in there and then you deliver it to them. They get it, they open it up and like, well, what's this? And maybe it's a birthday uh, card or something and they go, Oh, what's this? Whoa! It's confetti! Oh, that's so sweet! See? I mean, they're, they're just gonna love it. So, lots of things you can do. Um, so today I'm gonna show you how to uh, how to fold these. It's really, really easy. And once you get the hang of it, you'll be making all sorts of cards. I've got tons of cards. I just did one right here um, that I'm gonna give my my wife and my daughter because they are awesome and they deserve to know that so I'm gonna wrap this up fold it and look I even put a, a cow on there to, to seal that and I'm gonna go deliver that to them but before I do that though I want to show you how to fold this okay so here we go come on all right troopers let's get started so I wanted to show you uh, a couple of these things which I made available to you through a PDF. So look on the, in the link in the description below or the link on your Google Classroom, all right? Uh, but here's some samples of things you can get started with. You can come up with your own message or if you need some help uh, coming up with some, these are good starters. You can address it to somebody and, and say that, that you're thinking about them. It says, I'm thinking about you and so uh, I know I had a student that was going to uh, make a birthday uh, greeting for her dad. And so he was, she was going to put um, uh, to dad, I'm thinking about you and wishing you a happy birthday or something like that. Or you could say, I'm thinking about you and miss you. Or maybe it's to your grandparents. I'm thinking about you and wish that I could visit you soon. Uh, whatever so that's a nice one there here's an, an, another one, nice one here um, hope you are so uh, it could be uh, your friend uh, to my best friend I hope you are doing well and uh, are safe or I hope that you are having fun or anything like that how about this one I was just thinking oh dear brother or sister I was just thinking it would be great to have a picnic today or uh, this one here. Oh, this is a good one. Maybe you save this one for your parents. To mom and dad, thank you for being awesome and I love you or thank you for taking care of me or thank you for being there for me. All sorts of things you can be thankful for. So this is a good one to use there. So let's say that we started with this one here. After you finish decorating it all and writing what you need to write on here, 
then you're gonna take this sheet and do you see the, the dashed lines right there? I put that there so that you can cut it and you'll end up with a square. Because for origami, for a lot of origami, you have to start with a square. So this one's already pre-measured so that it is a square. Now I'm gonna turn this square sideways like this so it looks more like a diamond and here's the steps okay there's some very simple steps to do this there are five simple steps involved in this very very simple fold okay so the first step is to fold in half going up make it uh, make a triangle you match the the corner the top corner and the bottom corner Okay, and then you crease it. And it is. Use your finger, crease it like that. See? And that, that's all it is right there. Okay. Now we got to figure out where the center is because it's very important we know where that center is so that as we go, we can uh, make sure that everything is, is uh, straight. Um, and that center line is very helpful. So to find the center line, again, what we can do is we can match this side with this side, like this. Take those corners, match them up like that, right? Push that down, and crease it. And when we crease it, check this out. Now we're gonna open it, see? We've got a center mark now, okay? So that's gonna be helpful. So step number three, we're gonna take this top uh, corner, top flap here and we're gonna bend this down All right keeping it straight up and down that center mark that we just made alright and we're gonna have it come below the bottom of that triangle All right and a good you can experiment with this but a good rule of thumb is that um, you can either take two fingers and stick it there and that's how far down you want to you want to pull it down or if you're you got a bigger thumb like me that that might be a good one about a thumbs width down that's a good start put it right there and then crease okay and then uh, the next step step four is to fold the two sides here the two side flaps in okay so we're gonna start off either one either side I'm gonna start off with the left side and remember how important it was to know where the center is? That's because we want to take this corner and we want to go past that center mark. So here's the center line right here. See that right there? We want to go past it. So take this, have it line up with the bottom, and we're going to go past that center mark just a little bit, not too far, because the reason we want to do that is so that when we finish these two can't overlap each other okay so now we're going to take this side and we're going to do the same thing just fold it and have it come across that center line the same distance that this went over the center line so that's about the same right there line it up with the bottom and we fold it see now when both of them are closed you can see how it overlaps a little bit that's good so now we can take this and take what the, either this side the right side and slip it in there into the pocket of the left side or we can do the other way stick this left side and stick it into the pocket of the right side either one will work okay there we go now the final step is really simple and that's to fold the top flap down now we want to fold it so that the tip touches the bottom of this uh, letter right here not, we don't want it to go below that. We want to touch it right here and we're going to use a center line to make sure it's lined up. And there we go. Now it's ready for delivery. Okay. I like to go ahead and add a little touch to this. I got some stickers here of funny characters. Let's see which one. Which one's. Oh, look at that. If this was a letter to my wife, this might be nice. Look, it's bears. It's bears dancing. That's going to be cute. So what I can do now is take the envelope, this tab, which 
uh, for yours that you print out might say pull on there. If it doesn't have instructions, you can write the instructions on here so they know what to do. I'm going to put down P-U-L-L, -L, pull, and maybe an arrow so they know which direction to pull it. Like that, right? So we're going to take that and I'm going to flip it over like this, just like that, see? And then I can take my sticker and I can use the sticker to hold it closed until it gets delivered. And so I'm going to take this to the recipient of the letter and they're going to take it and they're going to be like, oh my goodness, I just don't want to open it. It's so beautiful as it is. Uh, this is such the most, this is the most beautiful fold I've ever seen. Uh, but eventually I'm sure they'll open it up like this and they'll see, oh, it's to me. And what does it say? And this is where the magic comes in. It's going to pop open like that and they're going to read, they're going to read the letter from you, written for them, especially from you. Isn't that awesome? And as I said before, you could even put a surprise in there, some confetti if you wanted to, or, or maybe a bracelet or something that you want to deliver to them. You can stick it right in there. That's what's so cool about this. Okay, now, the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is an advanced step, okay? So at this point, you guys are done, okay? But if you want to do something a little bit more advanced, then pay attention to the, this next little piece right here. Okay, there's a way to tuck this flap right here so it doesn't, it doesn't go flapping around like this. You can tuck this into the sleeve. It's pretty cool, ready? What you do is you wanna try to slip this flap into this pocket here. Right, so you have to open it up a little bit, right? And then carefully see if you can get it in there like this see like that but then here right at the top here you got to kind of straighten that out a little bit there we go just like that now push it in a reverse fold right in there and tuck that in like that see and then now you got to take care of this flap and so you kind of go and right behind it stick that back in there like that and look how neat that is. You might not even need a sticker anymore. You could just deliver it like this and it stays closed for the most part, right? Okay, but there you go. Now I hope that you guys uh, will get a lot of joy and give a lot of joy delivering messages with this unique type of letter fold. Pretty cool, huh? Enjoy guys. Make sure you subscribe so you get more of these videos. And uh, go ahead, like it if you liked it, okay? Bye!